Hey guys, welcome to the video. This video is going to be something a little bit different today. Now as you guys know, if you watched my previous vlog, I was at a physio appointment the other day with my chiropractor Matt Wong, and he did a bunch of stuff with me. He did some acupuncture, some cupping on my back, and then a bunch of core work. And I got some good footage of that core stuff, but only put a few clips in that vlog. So now I'm going to post that full video here. It's about 13 minutes of just him working on my core, diagnosing some stuff, putting me through some exercises. So if you're at all interested, I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, so I'm just going to do a demo here. So if you want to just stand right okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get into transverse plane okay. stability. Okay. Okay. Okay, so three dimensions of stability, rotational, right, yeah. sagittal, yeah. front and back, coronal or frontal plane, left and right. Yeah. So in this model of getting your barrel breathing, okay, we're going to integrate the ball and sockets a bit more. So you're good at this position. Yeah. Okay, we touched on this a little bit. Maintaining that transverse abdominis eccentric contraction is the big one while you're breathing stays in your belly. Okay. So this is, without compromise anywhere else, you have your good fixed point. Same thing in the left and right plane, we're going to do... Oh, okay. Right. Okay, notice how I'm not... Yep, yep. And you're thinking about engaging this glute. It's not a hard thing, but this is where the main kind of part is. And then the last one that we're going to get into is purely this way. Imagine your spine being you know a big log. Yeah, yep. And you're going to roll the log together. Okay. This and this, they're frozen together. The log initiates everything, not your extremities. Right. So from here, this is what it looks like. See how everything maintains yep, yep. its form. My whole spine is moving in unison. So the trick is to fight gravity and to fight you using momentum. So here, when I roll back over, it's like a speed bump. You want to control. Don't let it go quickly. Yeah, yeah. So eccentric, concentric, coming this way. So place your hand here for me, and here. Yep, stable. And vice versa, and we continue. We don't get over the speed bump and build momentum, it's all slow. So to regress this, we get a ball. We can activate through hip flexion, through shoulder extension, our ball and sockets a bit more. Hands are open. This is creating a closed kinetic chain. So your system can actually be smarter and turn it on a little faster. Right. Okay. You can keep it in between the legs or you can even put this right here. Right. Okay. Having contact, this is tactile. Same thing as you're trying to get somebody to turn on a muscle, you tap it. Touch it, yeah. Okay. Something touching externally helps turn on too. Cool. Okay. So we'll get you on your back then. Okay, so we're gonna start at a bug position. Pushing out, good. Arms up, okay. Palms towards one another, good. So from here, so this is just educational for me, I want you to hold this, own this spot, okay? Don't overpower me, but just hold this. Down, pushing out. Okay. Okay. So from an assessment standpoint, you can do for people and find where they're worst. I'm testing your front and back plane, right? Because right? we're looking at this kind of stuff, right? Okay. Now what we can do? You can test this, right? You can test this. This is abductor, luteus minimus, medius and how it's integrating with your core. That's very hard for you, right? And I can do opposites. See how your pelvis moves, okay? Okay, so this is your, this is your biggest story, the lateral story, right? Okay, maintain this, reset, reset. Get these 
these out. Love. Back. Good. Here being the driving force, and this can come along with it. Maintain no momentum and come back to the midline. Maintain. Good. Zero compromise. That looks great. These two. Yeah. It's weird. It's like that was. Good. Do you feel how that right side was different than your left? Yeah. Yeah. Your right side is your biggest. Do that. Come back in a couple of days and go from there. Right, man. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Back, good work. Okay. Engage the glutes, but you're starting from here, pushing out. Good work. Good. Good. And take a rest. Take a rest there. Okay. So the next one that we're going to get into. Okay. So this, it's, it's really, it's all about repetition until failure, but with like perfect form. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And the idea, there's no cookbook saying you have to do 15 repetitions. This is hard. You're treating. Oh, yeah, that's work. You're you're working the nervous system. Yeah. It's not so much about kind of let's turn this muscle on, let's turn this on. It is from a cueing standpoint. You're teaching your nervous system how can we connect these? Yeah. How can we connect these together? Right. And so we're we're really kind of going back to that definition of creating a fixed point. Okay. So a fixed point for your ball and sockets. Fixed point for your ball and sockets. Cool. Okay, we're gonna pull up. Okay, so let it come down here. Okay. Open the hand, open the fingers. Good. Good. Okay. So from here, you're thinking about not just like this, we're thinking about it coming from the shoulder. Okay, hold this. Okay, this is an assessment. So we can look at this direction. Okay, we can look at this. Front and back, rectus stability. So hold this, hold this position. Don't let me push you anywhere. Okay, you're strong in this one. This is where things fall apart for you. Okay, nice and breathe. Or you can do a perturbation. We're working. Brace. Good. Good job. I'll call her. From here, log roll, slowly roll this way, engage, start with the log, then the branches, come with it. And that comes with it too, good work. Stay connected, stay connected, good, hold here, hold, brace, breathe, good, and back over to your left here, slowly. Breathe. Brace. Breathe. Brace. Breathe. Good work. Good work. Stay connected. Stay connected. Good. To the left. Good. Everything rolls together. That's it, bud. Good work. That's a hard spot to get over, right? Good. You're not using momentum, which is great. So let's hold here. That's probably far enough, right? And over to your right. Come on, let me see. Let me see your form. Yeah. And take a rest. Okay. Oh man, it's crazy, eh? It's hard. <laughs> so it's just it's looking at that the multi multi directional stabilization. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's just where your rotational and your lateral, left left and right plane, and that's where the assessment took me, right? Yeah. So this stuff is once you do more like stuff and you work on this, it's gonna be so easy for you, right? Cool. Okay. Questions? No. Okay. And the last one, if you want to come on up here, sir. Okay. I'll show you. We're going to get you into. Uh, if you come on up for a sec, I'll just do a demo. From a quadruped position, we're going to come hips hinge. I've been pushing it like The problem with hip hinging is we talk about here to here. Where does the hip hinge come from? We also to do it all to bring us to here, but we have to have our fixed point here first. So even if we're like this, we want to be here by not using your glutes. Yep, yep. Of course, teaching these two points, the belt line and the ribcage, 
to approximate or to come closer. Yeah. It's the same kind of thing when we're in this position. We want to be through here, but not getting there from the glutes. The glutes are the finishing touch. Okay? So same thing. Your spine is in good alignment. Right? So ribs down and out. Glutes have to be relaxed. Okay? This position right here is part of itself. Okay, but the same theory is fixed point and the way we move our ball and sockets. So first part we can slide. You are this doesn't lose any of yep. its form. Your knees on the ground, yes. Just sliding, yeah. Sliding, yeah. Right. Then progression. Progression. Yeah. Progression. Okay, it's not moving through here. Yeah. Purely at the hip. Then here's our next progression. Same thing. Etc. So the, the the theory, the definition of core stabilization. Lumbo pelvic control, it doesn't change. We're still set through here, right? We have our three points of contact. Yeah. Our head, our thoracic spine, and our butt. When we're here, we have to neutral, neutral, be in the right place. So our ball and socket joints can move and do their thing. Yeah. That's right. So relax the tongue issues and hips forward. Keep going all the way, all the way, hips all the way through. Good. So from here, okay, activate, ribs down, push out. You know, like a scapular push up, shoulders away from one. There you go, perfect. So this is your straightest anterior. That's the number one stabilizer of your, of your shoulders. Right? Relax. Okay. Maintain this position. So one, two, three, everything looks pretty good. Head back to touch, chin tuck. This has been the rolling stabilizer of your neck. Okay. Now we'll take this hand. Slide it up a bit. Anti-rotation. This, this goodness doesn't. I honestly don't think I could do it. This goodness doesn't change, and that's okay. That's totally fine. So then, so first one that you can do is just move it. Your stability system, not pack. Serenus, stereness. That's fine, right? So hold here. Now just think about your foot doing one of these. Right? That's a good progression. Right? Feel how it activates your stabilizers a bit more, right? right. Then you can slide your knee in a little bit if you're able to. Come up on an angle. This direction, just keep it connected and back. Good. And go this side. Just a little bit. Good. And back. Good. Engage. Engage. Good. Yeah, up. Maintain. Good. Good work, bud. That's great. Okay. Jesus. I know. It's humbling for sure. Humbling. It's humbling for sure. <laughs> oh, that's right. hard. <laughs>